Hello everybody, it is great to be back. It is seven o'clock here in the UK. Welcome wherever you're watching us around the world. Let's crack on. A rebellion brewing over foreign aid cuts. Does the Prime Minister face defeat? We'll ask one of his own MPs, David Davis, who's joined that rebellion. As well as the shadow, Foreign Secretary Lisa Nandy. And from the government today, Solicitor General, uh, and that's Lucy Fraser. Plus, we'll speak to the former Prime Minister, Gordon Brown, about COVID and the G7. Also for you this morning. Here we go. Uh, one year on from the toppling of that statue in Bristol, we'll get the reflections of the city's mayor. That's Marvin Rees. That's at half past eight for you on the programme this morning. And Lucy's Law, close to my heart, the possible new measures to tackle exploitative imports of puppies into the UK. We're joined by the TV vet Mark Abraham at a quarter to nine. It's Monday, the 7th of June. Tory rebels ramp up the pressure on the PM as they push for a Commons vote to overturn the reduction of foreign aid spending. Swipe right if you've been jabbed how leading dating apps have teamed up with the government to encourage people to get their COVID vaccine. Big lockdown easing in Ireland and Wales today, but questions continue in England about whether the 21st of June will in fact be Freedom Day. Michaela Cole wins big at the TV BAFTA Awards for I May Destroy You, calling on the industry to help end abuse of power. And plenty of dry, sunny and warm weather once again for today, but there will be some sharp showers too. I'll have the details for you later. Good morning. We start with a potential problem for the Prime Minister, who is under pressure from a group of around 30 Conservative MPs who could today force a vote to reverse his planned reduction in foreign aid spending. Rebels say the reduction will lead to hundreds of thousands of preventable deaths worldwide. My trusty wingwoman, Tamara Cohen is here. Hi. Hi, Kay. Tell us more. Well, it looks like Boris Johnson may have a major revolt on his hands.